Hello class. For our today video, I'm going to talk about problem solving and dimensional analysis. This is one method, one procedure we apply to solve any problems in the chemistry. It doesn't matter if you are working in chapter 2, chapter 6, chapter 9. You just need to learn this technique and apply that one for all chemistry problems that you may have in this course. First, you just need to remember that most of the numbers we work with in, in our class, they are measured numbers. To remind you, measured numbers are a number with unit, like 25 degrees Celsius, 78 centimeter, 2.9 kilograms. So they are some examples of measured numbers. Whenever we are going to convert from one unit to another unit from English unit to SI unit or vice versa we need to know some conversion factors some equivalency that they relate one to another one for example if we say one centimeter is same as point if let me change that one if we have one inch is same as 2.5 centimeter so it means we are going to talk about relationship between these two so right now I'm going to ex explain for you how to work with these techniques and how to apply them for all chemistry problems as I told you conversion factors are relationship between two units and you don't need to memorize the conversion factors you just need to know how to apply them for your quizzes homework assignments as well as your exams you are given conversion factors this example it gives you how to work with the conversion factors as you see here one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeter we are able to write this equivalency in two different forms one format is like this one of these number on the top another number on the bottom or vice versa it doesn't matter which one on the top which one on the bottom our problem determines which one should be used so whenever i'm going to write like this form of writing we call it the conversion factors and this method we call it dimensional analysis i'm going to give you one tip before moving forward and solve our problems whenever we are working in these techniques you just need to know that units act like a number what does that mean it means if we have a new unit you should remember that if we are going to cancel out the numbers units are already cancelled out. if you are going to multiple numbers units are multiple so please pay attention to some techniques that we are going to apply for this example we are going to convert 130 pounds into kilograms so we are going to convert this unit 130 pounds this unit pound to kilograms another unit pound here our original unit given by the problem is the pound this is the original number and original unit that we have so always we start with original unit we just need to write the number and unit that we have by problem under our solution strategy like 130 pounds then we need to write one conversion factor to write the conversion factors we look at the table we are given and we need to know that pound is sorted by original unit we should write pound on the bottom on the numerator on the bottom of the fraction the numerator of the fraction so we just need to write the pounds on the bottom and we are going to convert to new unit kilograms on the top so we pick this conversion factor here for our calculation the bottom of our conversion factor should be had the original unit so pound and pound cancel out that is why we wrote this here and we are going to report our answer here after calculation 130 points times 1 divided by 2.29 and last thing for our problem to solve that the number of sig figs for our final answer it would be same as the number of sig figs for our original number 
we have started with two sig figs, one and three. We don't count zero as sig figs, and we just need to report by two sig figs. If your calculator gives another number, you need to do by yourself. Manually change the number by two sig figs. We started by two sig figs, we report by two sig figs at the end. So the new unit is kilogram. This is a correct answer. Unit and number reported together. We call it measure numbers. Let me give you one more example. Mm -hmm. So how many grams of one type of medication like aspirin here are in a three to five milligram tablet? Here we have milli as one of the prefixes that I asked you at the beginning of our class to memorize that. So you are not given for your exam, for your quizzes and homework assignment. You should know the meaning of milli. We have this number. 325, 325 milligrams. So they are original number and unit. So we should start with them. Our new unit that we are going to compare, convert that is gram. So we are going to convert 325 milligrams to grams. To do that, we need to write a conversion factor. We know that 1000 milligram is same as one gram. So this is the equivalency that we need to memorize that. They are not given because they are not conversion factors. They are prefixes. So we may write this equivalence by two types, one gram on the top and 1000 milligram on the bottom or vice versa. We start with milligram. So we should write the milligrams on the bottom. So 325 milligrams multiply by we should write milligram on the bottom and gram on the top. 1000 milligram is same as 1 gram. So milligram and milligram cancel out. We know that and we report our final answer by 3 sig figs. 1, 2, 3 sig figs are here, so we should report by 3 sig figs. This is the technique we apply to solve our problems. There are some common units and the equivalency that are always given to you. So relationship between the all units in the length, all units in the mass, and volume. You are able to find this information in your textbook. And also the handout given to you at the beginning of our class. Again, you don't need to memorize any of them. Another concept that I'm going to talk about that this is the density. This is the one of the concept you need to learn as a nurse. Density is a physical property. If you remember that, when we are measuring the physical property, we don't change the identity of the substance. At the end of our measurement, we still have the same substance. Density is one of the physical property, and it gives us relationship between mass and volume of any substance. So technically density defined as mass over volume. So mass over volume is the density. Mass is in gram and volume can be reported in milliliter or cc. Cc is centimeter cube. So whenever you have the ml centimeter cube or cc both are same. So I may write two different forms of this equation, if we are going to convert volume to mass, volume to mass, and convert mass to volume by using the density. So we work in our class, but I may ask you to remember how to work with any fraction like multiple and cross multiplication and make sure that you know how to rearrange any equations. So I abbreviated density by D mass by m and volume by v. Question says, if density of acetic acid is 1.05 grams per ml, this is the unit for the density, what is the volume of 5 grams of acetic acid? So where we have mass, 5 grams, so and we have 1.05 grams per ml. Look here, for this type of problems, we have two numbers. but if you remember that, I told you we always start with the original number and unit. Which one is original number and unit? Density, as we look at this here, is a conversion factor. It is converting gram to ml. 
So we don't start with this number. We start with our original number, five grams. Five grams, and we need to apply this conversion factor. Conversion factor given by the problem is 1.05 grams per one mm. Always we have one mm. If we are going to write this in the other form, we may say 1 ml or 1.05 grams. As we remember, we can write the conversion factor by two different methods. So, we are going to use and choose this one because we started grams, and grams should be at the bottom of our conversion factors. So, we started 5 grams, we write grams on the bottom and ml on the top. So, 1.05 grams is same as 1 ml in the problem. And it's so, a lot of money if you are going to you know, cancel out grams by grams, so 5.0 times 1 divided by 1.05, you will find 4.8. So, look at the six figs. Two six figs are here. We should report by two six figs. So, they are methods that we apply to solve our problem by density. If we are going to have very easy calculation, Calculate the density of the substance. If we have 32, 322 grams occupy a volume of 53.0 ml, you just need to remember the density equation, mass over volume, and plug in the equation. And make sure your final answer should have three sig figs because we have three sig figs on the top, three sig figs on the bottom, and our final answer has three. The unit is gram per ml because unit for mass is gram, unit for volume is m. I'm going to talk about this slide in the another time of video for this chapter. Alright guys, thank you for paying attention.